Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss what neural tube defects are actually. So let's just start with a bit of embryology. So how is our nervous system developed? The first indications of nervous system development appear during the third week as neural plate and neural groove develop on the posterior aspect of trilaminar embryo. So neuralation is actually the formation of neural plate and neural tube that begins during the fourth week in which a flat sheet of ectodermal cells that is neural plate is converted into a tube. The fusion of neural tube occurs in the early pregnancy from 21 to 28 days after conception. Abnormal closure of neural plate results in neural tube defect like spina bifida. So neural tube defects can be open or they can be closed. Open type frequently involves entire central nervous system and neural tissue is exposed with associated leakage of cerebrospinal fluid. While closed type is localized and confined to the spine with the brain rarely affected and neural tissue is not exposed here although the skin covering the defect may be dysplastic. Um, by the way, open neural tube defects are more common than closed ones. Examples of open neural tube defects are anencephaly, here it involves the entire uh, central nervous system brain and this is spinal bifida, one of the examples of open defect. These are the examples of closed defect. Examples of closed defect are lipomyelomeningocele and lipomeningocele. So uh, we also divide neural tube defects according to cranial and spinal locations. Cranial neural tube defects can be an encephaly, encephalocele, congenital dermal sinus. Spinal defects can be spina bifida, spina bifida, occulta, myelomeningocele, meningocele, congenital dermal sinus, and caudal agenesis. Let's talk about the risk factors. Family history is very important because one type of malformation puts other family members at risk of all types of defect. It may occur as part of a number of different syndromes and chromosomal disorders. Inadequate folate during the pregnancy might be a cause which may be due to inadequate folate intake or use of folate antagonists or genetic factors causing abnormal folate metabolism or anti-epileptic therapy with anti-epileptic drugs can cause neural tube defects like sodium valproate and carbamazepine. Uh, how do we do prenatal screening? Prenatal screening can be done by measuring maternal serum alpha fetoprotein or ultrasound. Alpha fetoprotein and maternal serum is best detected at 16 to 18 weeks of pregnancy. But remember, it may not detect close defects and also it's less sensitive in women taking well -proved. Ultrasound is an effective technique for detecting neural tube defects and detects more neural tube defects than the serum alpha fetoprotein. Now, amniocentesis is only used when it has not been possible to obtain adequate ultrasound images and with this our lecture ends thank you